Okay, let's start uh, with first some introduction and after that we can uh, do the live session, okay? So, is is the screen visible? Screen visible, eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So first of all, uh, we start with the, what is uh, LaTeX. That is, uh, you can say that uh, it can save about two months formatting time of an average three to four years PhD uh, writing cycle. So it is very important uh, whenever you write something, the formatting is a very important part. And it, this is done automatically by the LaTeX. So what is uh, this? Uh, you can say what is uh, this LaTeX is, is a computer program which was developed by Dolan D. It, it, it was aimed at typesetting text and mathematical formulas. So it is a, you can say the macro package which enable authors to typeset and print their work at the highest uh, typographical quality using the pre-designed professional layout. So it was originally written by Leslie Lamport and it uses the text formatter as its typesetting engine, um, this uh, engine. So uh, why we are uh, using the LaTeX, it has a portability with the Unix, uh, Linux and Windows and everything it has portability with. Uh, lots of packages are available. Then you have you can control uh, depending port that uh, coding, the quality of the output is very uh, fine. So it can be used to write documents in any language. So like you see, and these are some of the um, writings in the latex, whatever has been written in the latex, which it is very fine. So it will looking very good. So these are some of the, we can also draw with the latex, we can also draw these kind of diagrams also. So you have two options, either you draw that uh, diagrams of, or you can uh, simply paste that uh, diagram. You can draw the diagram in Visio and paste uh, the diagram there. So that is also possible in that. So uh, latex versus word. So um and that is uh, if, if you are working on large projects then you have uh, the separation clear ex explicit separation is there uh, styling is there uh, then you can have the table of contents can be generated bibliography can be generated index can be generated in that in that by using this uh, latex and the uh, you can split uh, this uh, latex into small uh, uh, pieces that is we, you cannot have this a uh, one uh, word document and word document everything is in there in the word document you can split it into different folders so stability and interchangeability of documents is uh, uh, very good in case of latex however in case of word if you see if you uh, go from one word to another word definitely you have uh, some some issues would be there and uh, no upper gradation pressure is there and uh, the best part is that no virus is there sometimes what happens that uh, because of the word and the viruses are there in the word and the whole of the things got corrupted uh, like it happens with me last uh, year also uh, so one of the pen drive uh, that i used that it had viruses and all the word document it got uh, deleted so it has uh, so if you see so latex and the word so first one is the written by this um, uh, equation is written in word and second is written in the latex so definitely you can see the difference between these two so what you need to install in the latex uh, latex so first you see that um, first uh, you have some compiler in that uh, that compiler can be mctex uh, latex or mctex that compiler you can use and text editor uh, that you can use is the text studio that is that editor is used that there we can write and uh, uh, this uh, latex distribution is actually mctex latex or mctex i am using the mctex are uh, in that so document previewer adobe um, acrobat is there uh, with everyone nowadays so what we have to do, you have to do first uh, you uh, this download this mctex then go script instead of course if you can also use the uh, acrobat reader so no need of that go script if you want to use you can use and then you have uh, uh, some of the editors where we can write on is the techni center so it is an old one which i, I was using in phd then when did it as site uh, latex plugin so these are some of the actually the outer uh, this uh, you can say platforms where you have to write 
so it is actually you can download that version also and uh, follow the whatever the instructions are given you have to follow that that is uh, uh, you you have to select the paper format a4 paper format and any if you want to uh, any um, that choice uh, it depends on you if you want to install any package but because whenever you are compiling the packages are required so um, you can select it as the ask me first or, or if you want automatically the packages would be installed then other option would also be available so then you can choose this option that i want to get updated packages from the remote package repository so from the whenever you compile it sometimes the packages are required and automatically it can with the internet it can update those packages so uh, these are this is actually the package manager you can um, also find it in that uh, uh, dtx then you can uh, install the text studio first you have to install this uh, mictex after mictex you have to install the text studio so text studio is nothing but uh, uh, there uh, you have to write the previous one was the compiler here is the main where you have to write so it is the general form of this text studio it looks like like that if you take the case i have opened the text studio uh, i have here it is the text studio so uh, here you have to um, this is the writing window i will tell you that how you can select that then um, this is uh, the uh, installation part that is uh, uh, what the directories uh, uh, you have to use first we can uh, see this like uh, you can have uh, uh, what are the dictionaries uh, are there sometimes you can select the dictionaries if some word is not okay then it will uh, have some red uh, coloring below that so then we have the commands you can put it as default and uh, then in that in compiler you can use the pdf latex so because a pdf a different type of compilers are there but you can use this pdf late, uh, this uh, latex so um, so uh, now we start with the simple empty document so it is actually whatever is there we can uh, uh, do it in that now it, the latex actually consists of uh, and the here we have the preamble and here we have the body of the document so i will tell you so what is the preamble preamble this is first we start with the document class article then preamble is there then begin document end document then body of the whole of document is there what is a preamble it actually consists of the uh, overall uh, latex formatting commands all the commands are given in that particular uh, preamble and uh, if you see what is the body it contains the text of the document and text formatting commands whatever commands are there it is given here now uh, we will uh, i will start with this text studio so the text studio is there so what uh, uh, we start with the, this file so we can write it or, or we can select from any template so new we have to select or if any we have saved we can use open command now new from the template you can select new from the template now what you want to write what you want to write if you want to write an article if you want to write in book or letter anything you want to write a report so you can select that now let us suppose we select this article that is uh, we want to this uh, have an article on that that is we want to have an article on that that is we want the this uh, uh, we want uh, uh, to write an article so the first part is that that we want to write an article so what you have to do first you start from this new from the template the template are already available here and any template is required you can go to that particular uh, website of that journal you can download it and the for the mtech template i have prepared the mtech template for you that i will give you so this is uh, this article and then okay so as i told you it starts with the document class in that ppt that is document class article so here it shows that how many uh, that is what what is the uh, what is what would be the font of that uh, uh, particular document 
what font is required now let us suppose that we want the font of 12 point so what we do we write here 12 pt point article so document class here that is the here is a preamble that we can write like here it is given preamble then after that we can have the begin document and the end document we have begin document and end document so this first we have document class this 12 point what we can do we can remove that okay then we have we can remove this also make title we can begin up section everything we can re remove and what we can do so it is first we have the document class then we have this uh, um, 12 point article begin document and end document now we have to compile it so here we have the compiler built and view so when we compile it it is coming like that Okay, so there is a because the class file title and author everything is written. So we have first document class, we have to write the document class here. And here we are getting the PDF of that. That PDF is visible. Is it visible to you? Yes, sir. Okay, so first we start with the document class. After that, since uh, in the article uh, title and the author everything uh, has been written previously in the class file so whenever you work on any document the class file is already given in the document so first we have the document class and then we have the preamble here and then begin document and after that we have the end document so that is required now here the title is given so let us suppose that we can write the title as load flow analysis of power system so when we compile it it is coming title is coming here so you have under write title you have to write the title and author like i am writing my name here so the author is okay then if you want to have uh, uh, add the date in that everything at every command starts with like that so we have suppose we want the date here so today is like and september so it is 10th september you can change any any uh, this uh, anything is required you can change so this is actually in the preamble of that whenever the because in the class file the title author and date it is already written in the preamble of that particular document that is article document that we have selected from this particular file so then we have the begin document and now after the begin document we have the make title make title that because the document starts this is this was the preamble of all of the document so this is make uh, this make title now what we do we delete that make title and see so no title is there nothing is there so after this document begins what we have to do we have to use make title and what the make title will do it will make the title that is whatever title i, uh, I have given it will be displayed here so make title now after that you can start whenever you are writing the uh, anything you want to write like suppose you begin with the something abstract or anything so you can start with that is begin abstract or anything you want to write within that that is so you want to write the abstract of any any document suppose you want to write the abstract of a thesis so you can start with the begin abstract and end abstract so you can start like that that is a the load flow analysis of our system so it will be displayed within that abstract that is below that abstract begin abstract 
so below that obstruct it will be displayed one more point then let suppose you want to go to another line in that so in uh, and uh, uh, like in word what you see in word like let us suppose that uh, you have some more spaces in the word word so in that very case uh, your uh, document would be like that only however this is not the case in this case whatever be the spaces how uh, whatever be the length of the spaces it doesn't uh, uh, take it uh, as a, it take it as a uh, one space only so that is a very uh, good point of that from the formatting point of view then uh, if you want to go to some another line so instead of uh, going to another line you can have some a, a blank line here whenever blank line is here then in that very case one more line is created that is you can go simply to the another line so that is a very important point here so uh, now we have the document class article then we have the preamble here then as i have already discussed spaces and line breaks are not important a black line starts a new paragraph and commands all start with the uh, ba uh, this uh, backslash so all the commands start with the backslash in this case main commands like title author and then we have the document class so it starts with the uh, this uh, backslash now braces are used for the arguments so for the arguments we are using the braces this one these are these braces we are using and it is the same for all the documents once you um, try to uh, this uh, write document in that you can uh, simply know all the things in that so then you have braces are used for for optional uh, arguments so we are using this uh, these kind of uh, things that is 11 point and these are used for the arguments and for optional things we are using this one that is if you want the two column you can write comma two column then it would be two column so that thing is there in that so and uh, uh, commands are always uh, you can say case sensitive so that thing you have to take into consideration that these are always uh, case sensitive so uh, that is uh, if you want to write uh, for a, uh, a short document you can uh, use article and report for uh, longer documents for large documents uh, you can use book that is whatever you select that is from here all the things are given that is from new template and if you want to uh, uh, have the presentation presentation are very good are very nice in that so you can use the beamer here beamer is for presentation Be beamer is used for the presentation if you uh, want to uh, have the presentation here so beamer is used for that very purpose so that is very good the, uh, you can say that uh, whatever looks it's, it looks very fine so this is uh, the again the document that is uh, we have uh, whatever paper is required a4 paper a5 size so that that any kind it is an optional argument so any kind of argument can be included in that so this is the preamble this is the body so here we can write in like a begin document let us suppose that we start with this document after the abstract we want to write something suppose begin abstract and abstract so section i will discuss that what is section and all about so suppose you want to so it will be again displayed here that is abstract it is a, there is another another formatting for the abstract because abstract has some different formatting as compared to the whole of the document so, so you can whatever other document you can start with that that is after the end abstract so it, it depends upon your requirement so whatever is your requirement you can do that so now that we have discussed uh, make title within the document that we have discussed now okay section subsection now what happens so sometimes you want to write the section in that that is abstract is there uh, abstract uh, begin abstract so uh, so is it okay are you able to get it yes sir okay now you want to uh, suppose want to add section in that now how you can write the section in that suppose you want to add some section paper or in some chapter of your thesis so what you have to do you have to use the section so section then suppose you are using uh, 
load flow. So I have used load flow, let us suppose one. So a section is created here, load flow one. Now, again, we want another section. We want another section. Now, let it be two. Let it be three. And within the section, we write anything. Anything uh, you can write, like load flow analysis is. So with, it is under the section one, then you can have section two, then you can have under section three. So whatever section and these sections are required. So it came automatic, automatically, it is automatically created. These sections are automatically created. Now, sometimes you have like section one. So sometimes in word, you, you have to write 1.1, 1 1.2. 1, 1 so that is actually given by subsection. So what you can do? You can use subsection. So subsection is created 1.1. 1 .1. Again, if you want to create next subsection, then it should be 1.1. Uh, one subsection is created. Now you again want to create one more subsection, then yes, 1.2 like that. And again, you can have one more subsection. You can write within that subsection, whatever you want to write, you can write within that subsection. So as per your requirement, as per your requirement of that text, you can simply write within that subsection. Okay. Now it is 1.1, 1 .1, uh, then 1.2, 1.3. Now, if you want 1.1.1, so you can simply, what you can do, you can simply add one more sub in that. So you can add one more sub in that. So you can have, we have added after three, so 1.3.1. 1 .1. So 1.3.1. 1 .1. And suppose you want one more subsection, then you can use sub, sub, Okay, I think it's not taken by that. No? So it is up to 1.3.1 like that. Up to that, it will take. So 1.3.2. So that is about this section or the subsection. Is it okay? Are you able to get it? Are you able to get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, next is uh, the paragraph. If you want to write the paragraph, you can write it. And in um, uh, in thesis, paragraph is not required. Uh, it is not required. And uh, then chapter. Whenever you are here, uh, we have uh, considered the article. So in article, uh, uh, you can say that uh, it is uh, uh, this uh, chapter. If you use chapter, then chapter is not uh, actually, uh, we, we will get the error. Suppose we write here the chapter then chapter gives the error the title of the chapter suppose we can write a, a like that so it will give the error while it will give the error because we have considered this an article however if we are instead of the article if we are taking this book then chapter is in the book or thesis, then the chapter will work because it is it is based on the class file. So chapter here will it will not work. So it will not work. And here, whenever uh, the uh, some 
some issue is there then it it will be given here undefined control sequence and any issue you will find out you can simply um, you can take that and simply put on the google then definitely you will get the answer because maximum of the people are working on that maximum of the researchers they are using that later so definitely you will get the answer so that that is sorted out that is very important then paragraph sub paragraph you can use that now uh, now the example of that the document class standpoint a4 paper like that and there's a title author date begin document end document so it, it looks like that now uh, like if you see uh, there are different uh, document class are given like if you see the article that is article there are some articles of a journal it depends more than what they have given sometimes they are not giving that uh, all the information they are giving that font is like that and spacing is like that you have you have to create of your own using the article however itp transaction or itp conferences they are uh, and they have given their format you have to take uh, simply that format and simply write it on and the beamer is used for writing the presentations and els uh, a class this is actually the document class article is used for that itp tron is the class which is used for itp document this is used for proceedings a report is it is a class file class file is actually different whenever you work on that so uh, class file is the uh, this uh, it is uh, quite different than you have a letter for writing letters beamer for writing the presentations and article for articles with the uh, this els article it is actually the elsewhere format now these are some of the things that are given that is if you want a4 paper or a5 paper or 10 11 12 point like that so whatever is required like if you want one column or two column you can write in that document class and then in brackets you can write in that so and that is uh, actually one side or two side or any landscape anything you can write you can put one uh, word in that and definitely you will get that kind of result so these are the file types that are in there in that particular document a text file that we are working input file style file exactly the package whenever we are uh, we are working on any this document i have one uh, uh, file with me if you see this ieee um, file is a access uh, template is there this is the class file so class file is actually the file in which every coding is there is given this is uh, the ieee trans class file and this is uh, actually the file text file in which we have to work on so now after that we will have uh, uh, we can have this uh, uh, table of contents so that we can simply generate yeah. list of tables that we can simply generate in that So these are the files which are in the folder when you compile that anything. So section, subsection that I already told you, then paragraph, subparagraph. Then if you start the new line, you can also use, you can give a new line in that and you can put like that new line and all that. Or new page, you can start with the new page. So whatever is required, you can use that because it's a very large packages are there. So no need to go in every detail of that. So then emphasis okay so you can uh, have uh, suppose uh, i have written here hello world so suppose um, i uh, want a small size uh, you can say um, that is a word so then you can say that uh, when i try to write it so this is the hello world so tiny i write i wrote here so it is tiny then I wrote here large. Then it is large. Then I put increase L and that is a use the capital. Then it is very much large. So it should it depends upon your requirement. Whatever your requirement, you can change the text. So then you can if you want to put emphasis on that, if you want, uh, want to in the bold you can write text bf like that so what you can write 
if you want to put it in bold then it will uh, it, it it will give you the suggestions so so text and within the brackets and however it is large so it is bold and if you want doesn't want large then is it is as per the document that is 12 point so but it is bold so it is like that it, it is uh, like that that you can and do then uh, whatever the text is required whatever the type of text is required that you can do you can uh, modify that as per your requirement that is uh, if you want uh, any different type of text that you can do that so so if you want uh, in small letters uh, in this in different font and this uh, different font whatever is there you can do that so that that's uh, not an issue so then uh, why what i told you tiny after the time then tiny gives us uh, uh, this uh, you can have the 11 point that is uh, if the 11 point is there then what font is there to what it is reduced like if the tiny is there and then like normal size 10 point is 10 11 point is 10.95 and uh, we are generally writing in normal size so 12 point is 12 only however when we are going for uh, other sizes like uh, tiny so if we choose 10 point it is 5 font is 5 11 it is 6 and 12 it is 6 it depends on what is the requirement but generally we are uh, writing only in the uh, normal uh, size so we are not uh, it, it depends on the requirement whatever your requirement is so are you able to get it yes sir okay so then section subsection i already told you then uh, necessary steps to produce the document you have to compile it then these are text these are text files uh, which that is a text file that i have used i have used here text file style file is style file that we down class file and style file we download it so these are the files which are automatically created so this is the documented text that it is it is a main distribution format for the latex style files so uh, then you have this make title environment uh, one more thing is that whenever you want to uh, want some bullets and all that what you can do you can use begin itemize begin itemize that is you have the different atoms uh, this uh, items in that so item first let us suppose you can write here then item everything you want to write in in the form of the bullets it comes like that so begin itemize and it will come as like in the form of the bullets that is if you want to itemize something then it comes in the form of the bullets and if you want to enumerate so instead of this you use enumerate so begin so item and after that you have load two like that okay we have to use item first so in enumeration it is one or two so so not much things are required so you can have uh, you can memorize this itemize or the enumeration and whenever you start anything whenever you start write begin or itemize so it is automatically it will come it will give the suggestions for that now Uh, it is yeah uh, sometimes uh, you want the text in the left side so you can use the command flush left or flush right 
or begin center, end center. So whatever is your requirement. Like you, you want uh, on the left side in the Word document, you want on the left side. So flush left on the right side, flush right and begin are on this, this, this one, you can use the begin center. So it's, it's like that. Now let's discuss the equation. So, abhi tak theek hai? Samaj aage abhi tak? Hello? Ji sir. Ji sir. Okay. Now let's start with the equation. To main isko in cheezon ko delete kar dun? Yes sir. So, whenever you want to write an equation, you start with, uh, there are two ways to write an equation. Suppose you write the equation within the text. Okay. Whenever you write the equation within the text, sometimes a beta is required, alpha is required, or sometimes uh, the line is uh, in the flow of the line, you have to write something. Suppose you have to write the load flow analysis of power system or you, you have to write something else. Suppose you have to write uh, alpha. So what you have to do? You have to use the two dollar sign and then alpha. So it will automatically come. You can select that. Now in this document, you can say this alpha is created. Are you able to get it? Dikra hai? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, suppose we need beta. So, what do we do? Backslash beta. We have beta. Okay. Suppose we have a lot of work. And what symbol is it? Gamma. Gamma to usi ke saath ho gaya. Koi tough wala symbol batao. Ye angle dekho. Angle aage. Backslash angle. Thik hai? Ye aage angle. Thik hai? Ab. Backslash. Dekhte hai. Theta available hai. Nahi hai. Theta available hai. To ye ab aage. Theta. Thik hai? Alpha, beta, angle, theta. Whatever is required. अब हम सपोज हमें समेशन यूज करना है यहां पे तो सिंपली क्या करेंगे हम बैकस्लैश व्हाटएवर इज रिक्वायरमेंट यू कैन डू वन थिंग दैट ये मैथ वाला जाएंगे इसमें और मैथ में आपको सब कुछ दे रखा है जैसे स्क्वायर रूट है सेलेक्ट सपोज ए यू सेलेक्टेड इज एज ए A, B. Suppose A, B लिख दिया हमने यहाँ पे. So, square root of A, B. Now, हमें क्या करना है? Suppose हमने uh, math में और कोई symbols देखते हैं यहाँ पे. Uh, math equations, math function, summation देखते हैं, ठीक है? क्योंकि summation थोड़ा सा complicated रहता है. तो, S, U, M. Okay, SEO में अपने आप आ गया. Minimum और maximum. Select minimum. Let us suppose zero. Maximum two. Suppose I तक जा रहा है. Zero से लेके I तक. Summation. उसके बाद we can use सिंबल लाइक अक्यूट सेलेक्ट किया हमें ए के ऊपर कैप चाहिए तो हमारी ए के ऊपर कैप आ गई ओके सो व्हाटएवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज देयर जब भी आप थीसिस लिखोगे या इक्वेशन लिखोगे 
उसमें कोई भी रिक्वायरमेंट होगी जैसे मैथ फंक्शन है हमारे तो कॉस साइन एवरी थिंग इज गिवन इन दैट ए कॉस सो सो कॉस आ गया एनी थिंग यू कैन यूज फ्रैक्शन हाँ सपोज यू वॉन्ट द फ्रैक्शन इन दैट तो इसको यहां भी यूज कर सकते हैं लेकिन फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक और स्टार्ट कर लेते हैं लाइन बीच में सपोज आप ये आपने फ्रैक्शन यूज करना है तो फ्रैक्ट न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर एंड सपोज डी एक्स और डी वाई सिंपल आ गया आपका डी एक्स डी वाई देन सपोज फ्रैक्शन यू वॉन्ट बट यू वॉन्ट इन सम अदर फॉर्म इन मेरिकल फॉर्म सो उसके लिए फोर सो मैनी फंक्शन आर देयर अनलिमिटेड फंक्शन आर देयर एंड वन मोर थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड द सबस्क्रिप्ट आर द सुपर सबस्क्रिप्ट इन दैट लेट एस सपोज यहां तक पता चल गया आपको हेलो जी सर हाँ अब हमने सपोज क्या करना है सबस्क्रिप्ट और सुपर सबस्क्रिप्ट लेना मैं इसको रब कर दू ना सबको जी सर कोई भी चीज आप सेलेक्ट कर सकते हैं जैसे मैंने ये ले लिया सपोज अल्फा ले लिया तो अल्फा का मैंने क्या करना है कि सबस्क्रिप्ट और सुपर स्क्रिप्ट यूज करना है सपोज अल्फा के ऊपर तो मैं क्या करूंगा सपोज अल्फा सबस्क्रिप्ट ए तो वी आर गेटिंग अल्फा सबस्क्रिप्ट ए एंड सुपर स्क्रिप्ट वी यूज कैप रेस टू पावर सपोज बी सो रेस टू पावर बी so it's like that so large number of functions are available whatever is requirement whenever you search on the internet definitely you will get uh, all the coding is available there only you have to work on that so all the functions all these kind of things these are available here now this is when you are uh, writing within the flow now let us suppose that you want to write the equation so when you write the equation the equation number should be reflected okay equation jab aap likhte hain to equation beech mein aani chahiye to uske liye aap kya karenge aap use karenge begin equation begin equation So, begin equation, end equation, 
एंड इन द इक्वेशन जो भी इक्वेशन होगी उसमें आप जब भी लिखोगे तो ये फ्लो में जब भी आपने लिखना है तो डॉलर के बीच में लिखना है लेकिन जब आप इक्वेशन लिखोगे तो इक्वेशन में आपको डॉलर यूज नहीं करना एंड देन यू हैव द इक्वेशन देन लेवल ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन क्या लेवल है सपोज हमने इक्वेशन का लेवल ले लिया कुछ भी नाम ले लिया ई क्यू वन ले लिया सपोज अब हम इसको रन करेंगे सो वेन यू रन दिस इक्वेशन इट इज अल्फा ए बी और इक्वेशन नंबर अपने आप बन के आ गया ठीक है थोड़ा इक्वेशन को पड़ा कर देते हैं समेशन मिनिमम जीरो से लेके सपोज आई इक्वल टू जीरो आई इक्वल टू एन सो वी है आई इक्वल्स टू जीरो टू आई इक्वल्स टू एन अल्फा बीटा एन अगेन इक्वेशन नंबर इज क्रिएटेड ऑटोमेटिकली ठीक है अब हम एक और इसका लेवल इक्वेशन वन है मैं बताता हूं इसका लेवल हमने क्यों यूज किया उसके बाद वी हैव दिस इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव टू चेंज द लेवल दैट इज इक्वेशन टू लेट अस सपोज इंस्टेड ऑफ अल्फा वी आर यूजिंग द बीटा हेयर एंड अगेन हेयर अगेन नंबर इज ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेटेड एंड यू सी how nicely it is generated how the equation is looking it's very it's looking very nice the document is looking very nice so you have to do that so now the level level gives gives us that suppose you want in the flow you want to write suppose in that particular flow you want to write the load flow analysis power system so you want to write the equation 1 so what you have to do equation backslash Equation ref. Equation ref. EQ1. Uh, let's see. It might give error. So this equation ref ref means reference of equation, and reference of equation that we have to use here. Equation one. That is equation one gives. Or you can say that we can write like that. Equation one. Gives. So you have to use this command only. It graph and this label. This is the label which gives us. And and the plus point is that suppose you want to work within that particular document, and we um, anyone says that you have to delete that equation. So you need not to uh, do the whole formatting of that particular document. It will be automatically done. so equref i think it might give error yeah it will give error so let's use one package ams math and it will work or not let's see so now it's working finally now what is that like this ecref actually it 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 takes the this package you this ams math package it will take so what you have to do we have to write here that is in preamble you can write that ams math or sometimes graphics so these kind of uh, packages are there you need not to worry whenever you are writing dot document for any uh, journal that packages are already given in that they have they have written that packages and if that packages are not in the file then uh, you can download it and then use in the same file in which you are doing the compiling so this is it will work now what is the importance of this if you see equation you cref 1 we have used equation 1 gives so we have used the level of that and equation Equation two, so it will be automatically generated. 
no need of for something you have the level you can use level anywhere if uh, suppose uh, uh, you want to delete some something in that no need to in the word you have uh, some issues that uh, equation one equation two you have to again format it again and again you have to change the all the equation number in that so and that thing uh, is not there in the latex whatever you if you delete something some some suppose you delete here so it will be automatically deleted so no issues here let us suppose that we have these uh, two equations let us suppose that we have three equations and we have the three equations and let us suppose that this equation third and then we have three equations here now it is equation one equation two and equation three automatically it is three equation now what we do let us suppose that we uh, guy told us that okay delete that uh, middle of equ uh, middle equation you can delete it so what uh, i can do uh, two options are there either i can delete it or i can comment it so comment whenever we are commenting something then in that very case it will not be compiled it will not be compiled so in that very case what happens this equation become first equation and this equation become third equation i know i will first i will write it equation 2 and equation 3 okay suppose it is equation 1 it is equation 2 we want to suppose we want to delete that equation 3 so we have written that equation let us suppose equation 3 so automatically it is coming 1 2 and 3 and let us suppose we want to delete this second equation so you can delete it or you can use the comment tool it will not uh, be compiled however when you are compiling it then uh, in the equation 2 uh, you can have this kind of uh, command is there and this this comes because the equation 2 doesn't exist so what we can do we can simply remove it so equation 1 and equation 3 no need of uh, uh, any other thing automatically it will take that you can write only level so is it okay are you able to get it yes sir okay now after that we have the table the uh, this uh, formatting of the table is uh, uh, it is quite uh, similar to that of this uh, equation like begin table then where we want to place we want to place on the top of the page or the bottom of the page or on any dedicated plate that you can do you can um, uh, uh, use that uh, then after that you have to use the caption of that particular table so you can use that and it is also very uh, simple so after that uh, you have and uh, whenever you are writing within that particular table you have to uh, this you if you want if you have a multi row then you can use the multi row and that and multi column in that so uh, whenever uh, which formatting of this uh, uh, document you are using you can simply uh, take that and simply paste that in the text studio simply it will work as per your requirement so any graphs it can be included if you want to include any figure so you can uh, include the figure like that begin figure centering then include graphics so this is this is basically the general command that you have to use these are the general commands and uh, uh, whatever the command whenever you want to insert any figure you can simply copy it and paste it that you begin figure then centering uh, that is you want it at center include graphics that is uh, this is actually uh, where uh, uh, this is the main command and here plot plot is actually the figure which you want to insert suppose you want to insert any figure then the name of that figure is uh, plot and the level of that figure level that i told you in case of this uh, equation it is figure plot so after that end figure is there so this is the basic commands for that simply whenever you are inserting any figure you can uh, take that command write it in and after that you can uh, replace that uh, this plot with the figure in name but it should be in the same folder that that should be required so there are many things in that any uh, thing you can uh, any 
theorems uh, if you want to add you can add in that so that that is we have already discussed text vf that is, is a uh, which is in this uh, form then we have text it text it like it it will be like that that is text pf it will be like that bold face and then and then you have uh, in italic if you want to write it is like that now some commands are there so numerous commands are there whatever you want to write if you want to write this f then it should be in the dollar then it is defined by this function so it starts with the dollar ends with the dollar and after that you can write that like that that is dollar and after that you can write like that so then cos theta sine theta so whatever the number of commands are there that you can write if you write this kind of equation you can simply write that by using the subscript and superscript fraction that we have already discussed how nicely this fraction is represented here by using this command frac command so ems math package that i have discussed that uh, for that uh, math package is required then uh, any kind of thing that you want to write in an equation array you want to write then you can use the array command in that that is available in that uh, document that is uh, in that is math document that is available then like you can write these kind of by simply this equation that is uh, you can start this begin array and after that with every separation of that particular array you can use this uh, and come this and with every separation you can use the ands and dots you can obtain by i dots and the v dots you can obtain by the v dots so as per your requirement it is like the matlab so whatever is your requirement you can use that so okay one more thing is related to the bibliography so uh, bibliography you can use certain tools for that bibliography so uh bibliography you can write either you can write that bibliography like that that is references like that or you can use the jabref also like you start with the begin bibliography uh, as i have one uh, this document i will tell you this document is there so i will tell you what is this is the i triple document and this uh, this is already downloaded from the site the packages are already available here so you need not to do anything in that so everything is written in that so then after that at last we have the references so like the basic format of the references so instead of uh, writing in that very way it's better to use the jabref so i will if jabref is there then i will tell you that how is working okay so this is the jabref now in the jabref what you have to do you have to simply uh new entry take a new entry what kind of entry is there you want the entry of some article so suppose you want the entical uh, entry of this article okay the article entry would be like that okay so in the article entry what you can do you have this uh, source is coming big text source okay like big text source is coming in article entry you can select i have already done some entries in that so i selected that so where you have to download that you have to go to any site suppose i triple a explorer you can go suppose we download some paper let us suppose that we write it load flow journal is coming then you have somewhere 
how to cite that paper any cite it is given that is given so cite this go to cite this so what kind of uh, it is required sometimes when you are writing in the word you simply copy it paste it on the word in a triple format so that is the plain text then bib text what is the bib text this is the bib text you can copy it or you can download it you can copy it and after copying you can put it here in that section article that is bib text source you can put it here okay so it's pasted here and it it looks like somewhat like that it pasted here author journal is there and this is the key this is the key of that so you can copy that key and you can within that key you can use cite you can use the cite command and but make sure that this and uh, this uh, pipref that file bibref file or uh, this reference manager it should be in that particular file only that is saved in that particular file only. so you can use here cite command and cite and then number of that when you are using the number of that automatically that will be that that is displayed that's that thing is displayed in that whenever you are working on that 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 reference is displayed and automatically it it will come like if you see this i triple e access i am compiling it there might be some issue with this uh, i think Two errors are there. So automatically, these references are generated, and these uh, references are generated when we were work on that automatically. So uh, instead of uh, writing in that form or in um, having the bib file of that, having uh, uh, developing the bib file of that, what you do? you can simply download that software reference manager that is jabref and then in the jabref you can what you can put it you can collect um, click new and bibtex source is there you can copy and paste it from the the site any site that is required so what you can do bibtex source you can copy it paste it and definitely it will work and use it a command site there so that is the easiest way otherwise you have to make the bib file of that so like that you can cite it this is the cite key so there are many kind of uh, uh, the references which are used by uh, like uh, elsewhere references are different so it depends upon that what kind of references are required you can get the um, ieee template related to the conferences or journals in that the jabref that i told you it's a very good software open source you can use that software that's very nice software and simply that that is also a reference manager all the references that you can uh, you can you have used that that are saved here in the form of a, a reference whenever is required you can suppose you want to write one paper so when you uh, write one paper now we you completed that paper and you want to write another paper so you are what you can do uh, in in that when you write another paper in that in that particular folder you can put that reference file whatever the references that you have uh, Uh, used uh, um, are downloaded in the first file automatically it it will be added in that it will be you can use in uh, simply the uh, cite command and it will do that and also in the jabref you can simply also uh, search for the uh, from the internet also you can search that if you want to search from the google scholar then the google scholar option is there that is every i triple explore option is there so you have to if you want to search you can simply put the name of that suppose uh, i want this so let's see it will work so it will search on the internet that uh, about that paper so 
processing yeah that is also one option you can search on that jabref it will give you the different type of uh, whatever is uh, whatever references are available and you can add that that is also one of the nice options that you can use so jabref is also good one more is that mind manager is there so these are actually here we can download that uh, packages c10 is used for download uh, the best part of this uh, latex is actually it is free of cost any number of packages you can download any for formats are available so if you are using some styles that styles are available on this uh, uh, any uh, this uh, guide for the authors you can download from that that uh, template is also given so templates are already given and then uh, overleaf is a very important part so you can uh, search for this uh, overleaf and share latex also you have some apps that you can use dropbox you can use mendeley you can use and uh, these are some of the sites which are helpful for the latex if you see if you want to compile anything then uh, suppose you want to work on this uh, latex and you are new in that and uh, you don't have the software and you don't have the internet uh, you don't okay you have the internet but uh, your software is not working some issues would be there so what you can do you can or use overleaf you can use overleaf and in the overleaf everything is available every project you can um, uh, if you want the new projects you can want the new templates so all the things are available so you can compile it on this uh, on this uh, this on in real time and then you can compile it and you can use so like you have all the uh, projects like some of the projects i have saved that is i typically access latex template so that i have used for presentation and any other type of uh, presentation that you can download it that are actually available in the overleaf so you can download it from the overleaf so that is available free of cost so that is about the latex